Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part two of the build of the Lego Dragon Boat Race. This is how far we made it in part one. If you missed any of that, I have a link down below. We're gonna move this to the side because we're moving on to our third bag of parts. Basically we're gonna begin building the second boat. along with all the minifigures and accessories that go with it. Okay. So just like the first one, we start with four of the, the racers that are in the boat. The legs and torsos are the same. The heads are different and the hair pieces are different. For some reason they put one of the heads in a different bag. Okay, so we've got this hair piece, this goes to the grinny guy. Hair piece goes to the guy with the smirk. This one goes to the happy guy. And where's our last hair piece? There it is. This should go here. Yep. Then we have the the paddles, once again, similar to exactly like the first bag. We have the one long one, and we'll have the th um, three shorter ones. One, two, and three. These are on black bars. The longer one was on a dark gray bar. move them to the side until we have the boat built and then we'll put them inside the boat. Okay. All right, so here's the other flag piece. First one, and here we go. Jumping right into the build of the boat. Just not gonna waste any time. And since we already built one of these, I kind of know kinda what's going on here. So it's not a new build per se. So far, turn it over. This is a little variation of the first one. We're just using these two red brackets. On the first one, we had six smaller ones. Thank you. 
so far everything is other than that little bracket piece everything else is the same just different colors which is okay i mean the little accessory structure that we're building kind of gives the, the set a little variation so it's not super repetitive In this bag, the, the bulk of everything is really large pieces, so it goes pretty quickly. Um, turn this around. Put that on the wrong. So we do have another little variation here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other guy going. Might as well just get them both out of the way. Because we are gonna put some stickers on this as well. And that can sometimes be a little time consuming. But overall not too bad. time. This is all of the, the long green stickers. That one kind of went on a little crooked, but that's all right. Can't really tell, especially with the pattern that, that it is. It's kind of like a dragon hide or like lizard scale type pattern. about some of these long ones is you can you don't have to push it down really hard yet you can see if it's lined up and then if it's not you can quickly remove it and redo it the trick I like to do is get one end kind of lined up and then if you hold it down it'll go across pretty easily All right, last one for this step. Still have a few stickers in the on the sheet. Those will be for the other stuff. All right, so on the under, underside, we will put our studs. Two, three, basically three on each side. Feel putting the stickers on was the longest part of this build for this bag. Okay. All right. So that completes uh, bag number three. So let's uh, jump into our fourth bag right now. Okay, we have everything out for bag four. First thing we're gonna do is some more minifigs. This is 
Looks like one of the spectators. He's got a long hair cut. He's gonna be holding a flag in one hand. Pretty long flag. And then he's got this little cheese slope that has the little printing piece for printed piece. Alright, we have this um, female fig. She is also going to be holding a flag. No food in her hand, just the flag. And lastly, we have our last racer guy. He's the one that's going to have the drumsticks. the Lego Harry Potter ones. Two, one. Two. Cool. Okay, so here we go. We got the tail and the head portion to make for the dragon. This will be just like the first one, just different colors. Actually has smaller horn pieces on here. The other dragon tail had bigger ones, but it still has the big red claw pieces there. This head looks like it's slightly different because there's a few different pieces that we're going to use for the nose. So it looks like we've shifted it back a little bit. We have this red telephone piece. It's going to go there. And we just have an orange cheese slope right here. slightly different fender element goes on there. Kind of the same detail with the ears and horns. Good. The bottom portion of the head. Why do I keep knocking that off? It's not clipping on for some reason. I hear a clip. 
I guess it's pretty delicate. If you bump it, it pops off. whisker looking things go right there clip it onto the front of the boat now we can put our guys in there Second boat is all done. Of course, it's got the wheels to roll. Move that over with the other one. Now we're continuing the build of our little accessory structure that the spectators will be able to stay on and watch the race. should line up attach right there yeah milk piece keeps coming out of that bucket all right we have some steps there go right there these plates will hold that together completes our fourth bag of parts. So we have one left. Let's finish this set up with bag number five. Okay, we have everything out ready to go. We do have our last minifigure to build. And this is the, appears to be like the race official that judges the race and or hands out the trophy. As he does have the trophy right there. Let's move that guy to the side. And let's continue the build of our accessory structure so we're going to make a little portion of water we 
have a random assortment of these transparent tiles. Some of them are clear, some of them are light blue. But basically just putting them on per the instructions. that step there's so many of them it's hard to kind of keep track of where you're at piece will slide there and it looks like I have two more wait four more see any more left in the part pile so that's got to be all of them all right so this is going to be a little lily pad type piece good so next up is some clips oops knocked over part of our greenery under here we bring over the model the stairs should clip there and that little plant piece is not going to want to stay on keep hitting it all right so that looks good I feel like I knocked something off the table a little while ago but maybe an extra piece all right so where are we at do two red plates. Some dark green one by ones. Alright, 
So we have our lightsaber and bars. This is just like we did on the other one. It's actually a pretty cool little detail. I like the, the, the fact it looks low profile, but it's actually pretty sturdy as well. So that is all set. We're gonna make our trophy table before we put the roof on. I'll go there, I'll take the trophy out of the guy's hand and set it on the table. Here we have one of our little flex tubes. We're gonna put these flags. Try to center these the best I can. Once they're on there, they're pretty tight on. That looks well enough centered. And we have our last four stickers that are gonna go on this. So basically each one of these flags gets one. And the stickers, they don't go all the way to the edge of the flags, but they go pretty close. But it's supposed to look like a continuous pattern. You can see the dragons kind of intertwined with each other. Now we'll go there. That's it for the stickers. Um, so let's finish this guy up. These are the pieces that go on top of the bars. Because those little parts under there have the holes that the bar slides perfectly in. And then when we start adding the little cross plates, they uh, hold on pretty well. This is going to be part of the decoration for the top. Should slide right in here. If you did it right, that looks good. Next is a couple more of these um, flex tubes. Some red hot dogs.
couple more clips there. Now we have our bars or flex tube. And we're gonna put these little dangling decoration tassels. You can see they actually do dangle. Put that little like, mini chain piece there. And then we have these last little decorative pieces. It's a purple plate with a clip that we're gonna put a little stud on. These will basically go in between each one of the hot dog pieces. official there. We've got some fans slash spectators. And they've got their flags to show their support for whichever racer they're going for. And our food vendor, got the little boy there. And then move this to the side. Bring this up because we'll be able to see everything. there awesome so there you go that's going to complete this build appreciate you guys watching um, if you want to see more awesome videos just like this there's a uh, links down below with tons and tons of videos so check them all out uh, make sure to tell your friends about this channel and they can all watch the videos with you so thanks again and we'll see you in the next video